Hey everyone, today I wanted to talk about basic maintenance on a tree. Um, this tree is a Ficus benjamina, um, I believe too little or Wyandai reversion, which basically used to have the twisted growth pattern but, but reverted back into a straighter growth pattern, albeit smaller leaves than a regular benjamina. There's a lot of different varieties of benjamina. This is not too little. Too little to have much smaller leaves. Um, I did have a Wyandai, Ficus benjamina Wyandai, about 18, 20 years ago that had reverted and started doing cuttings. This is a cutting, I believe, from that. Um, I know I've been working on this for about 10 years. It used to be wired out and shaped, but the customer who got it about three years ago um, basically doesn't really trim it. That's what I kind of wanted to go over with you. Um, this needs to be trimmed back into shape and then when it back buds it can be more detail wired. But let me get my tools and I'll show you how to get this guy back into proportion. Okay. When we're looking at a tree that was basically let to grow unrestricted, the first thing I do is go close to see the shoots that have been grown. Most of the time almost all of these new shoots will be taken all the way back down. And the reason why is they're straight. There's no taper. There's no movement. Um, it's way too far out for the proportion of the trunk. This size trunk, if it's a one inch trunk, you want ultimately have your tree six inches for a six to one ratio. If you wanted to have it a more feminine looking tree or more realistic, you could go with a more feminine looking ratio. But ideally I try to put my trees at a six to one ratio, which means one inch trunk, to six inches tall. There is some interesting movement down low, but then because it wasn't trimmed, it kind of goes straight. What I'm gonna do is find where the movement stops, okay, and then trim everything past that. And the reason why is because this is all straight no taper, no interest, all the way down to the bottom, to right here where it starts to have some movement. But you can see with that straight shoot, it made this thicken up. So what I had to do was take a side shoot and trim everything past that to make this my new top. Okay, now we have movement from top to bottom. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna trim all of these shoots that are coming out, I'm going to take them all the way back down to the first bend on all the rest of this tree and show you what it looks like in just one second. Okay, some of you may think this is pretty extreme, however, this is pretty much what was necessary. When I repot that, this root right here has reverse taper from here to here. When I repot this, I'm going to slide this out so we don't have the reverse taper showing up. As you work your way up, you'll see there's a nice line here, but there's also some extra branches here, some barbell branches, that uh, some of them need to be removed. But, this needs to all go right here. But we're gonna wait until it all pops. Benjamin is a little different than a lot of types of ficuses in that you want to have foliage on the tips. Now you can completely de defoliate a Benjamina in the summer, but this isn't not my Benjamina, and I don't want to uh, risk, uh, I don't know what kind of care the new owner is going to do, so or the current owner is going to do, so I'm just going to leave the foliage on the tips and let this recover, and then once we get more foliage on this growth that I cut back, then I'll take this all off, and this would be my new trunk line. It would be much more dynamic, much more interesting. The reverse taper will be taken care of in just a minute when I repot it, and he'll have a lot better little tree. Then we'll be able to worry about doing some shaping once this recovers a little bit. Uh, we don't have any side branches or any decent ones to wire yet, so we're just going to let it recover, and then we'll come in there and do some more detail work later. Also, these leaves will get down to about the size of a of a ficus too little, which is around an inch. Um, ultimately, you can get them all about this size. And in that size trunk, this isn't a bad proportion. These are a little big, 
but with repeated trimming these leaves will get nice and small. Um, if he brings it back over I'll give you an update in a month or two once it recovers. Thank you. Okay, here's the tree repotted. You can see that root was brought off to the side. It actually increased the flare here at the bottom. So visually, the big reverse taper that was here was taken off. I also changed the front slightly. So you can kind of see the movement a little bit better. There are a couple other branches that needs to be taken off of this tree, but once this starts popping and growing, then we'll worry about doing any wiring or shaping. But what I'm going to ask of the new owner is as these shoots grow out, 8 to 10 leaves, trim them back down to the first or second. That will redistribute the oxygen hormone and have it pop further back in here and hopefully along the trunk in some areas. It does need one or two branches so we can remove some of those heavy branches that are too thick for the trunk, like this one in the back here. This whole thing needs to be come, come off. You can see the tree's a lot better with this gone, but we need a young, thin branch to take the place um, back there, and I cut a lot of foliage off here, so we'll wait. Let it kind of recover, and then we'll come back and do the large cut. There's been times when you do a cut this big and you don't have very much foliage on here to where the whole thing will die back or die up top. So we'll wait. Let this get a lot more foliage on there and then we'll take it off so it can roll over. And that's the tree. It'll be nice in two to three years if it's trained right. Thanks for watching guys. Appreciate it.